All right, so you want to learn how to do tempo changes on a song with Acid Pro 7. Now, yeah, most of the time people have Acid Pro, it just goes at that one speed from beginning to end, but we all know when you play songs, songs do change tempos and all that, and yes, you can do it on Acid Pro. Here's um, one way of doing it when mixing one file. Say you already have the file, like I'll just go ahead and play a little clip of this. It's already been mixed, but it doesn't really have to be mixed for you to do this. It's just one file, as you can see. Now, you can hear it's all one speed at 120. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit it right here on this spot. You find where you wanna change the tempo. Say this is a spot where you wanna change the tempo. Then you go to insert. You hit insert and go tempo time signature change. You click on it. So wow, now it makes a sp the starting spot right there. Say originally it's 120. So I'm just going to say right here at just the experiment, I'm going to put 140. Then you hit okay. So the beginning of the song is going to sound at 120. Until it gets to that marker where you want it to be changed specifically, it's going to change to that other beat. Here it comes, watch. See how it changed? Now saying, this is your breakdown part or your speed up part, whatever. And I'm going to stop it right here at this point and say, okay, well now the song, it goes back down to 120. So you go again to insert. First you find the line where it's going to go. See that blinking light? Then you go to insert. Go to key tempo change time signatures. Click on that. Now it makes it again. And see right there, obviously it's at 140 because from right here it was 140. And it will go all the way down to the end of the song at 140. But you don't want that if, you have, if it goes back to another tempo change. So you just go and change it back to 120 or whatever speed I'm just you know just saying 120 there and like here's the here it is at 140 and that time marker right there it's gonna go back at 120 That's how you do pretty much the time signatures. Um, like I said, if you have like five different time signatures, you just gotta, you know, key it in when it changes and find that time signature, speed it up to where it sounds suits you. Now, of course, if you mess up and don't like it, just go to the thing, click on that little red thing and go delete. It's gone. Delete. That's how you can do time signatures on Acid Pro 7. I hope this is useful. Um, like I said, you just it's all in the top where it says insert. First you find where you want it. You find the specific spot. If you have to stretch the song to find the pinpoint where it slows down, then you do that. And then you hit, like I said, go to view, time signature changes, and then you put in the time signature. Now you might have to um, do trial and error, like, you know, if you don't know if it's 135 or 133, you know, you can always just test it out when you when you listen to your song. You can just play the song and where the section's at and just mess with this. And you go, oh, that's a time signature, like same, and look at it and write that number in as an example. So uh, enjoy. If you have any other questions, let me know, man. Uh, like to help you out.